hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so this week guys i am going to incorporate something a little bit different i've put the chakras back in and whatever sort of falls out of my hand is going to be um, what i'm going to sort of use the chakra bowl to give you a sound that you can resonate to and me sending you healing uh, for what is going on around you so i wanted to incorporate these in this week's reading okay so with all that said and done let's get on with the readings that's reading for the lovely star sign of aries so aries let's get the little chakra mats and just see which one wants to flick out for you what have we got for aries what have we got for Aries, 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 Aries. What chakra is going to flip out for Aries? Not the easiest. Oh, and we've just had the solar plexus come out for you. And I've just read for Leo actually. And I was saying the solar plexus is about sort of just under your breastbone um, in your chest area where we can bottle things up um, in that area. And this singing bowl is one of the ones that takes a while to build up its sound as well because it's sort of mimicking the fact that the chakra itself, um, because it harnesses so much where we bottle things up, it takes a while to release that energy. So this is what I feel some of you are doing. Uh, you're bottling things up at the minute. So let's just get the dish that resonates um, with that for you. And it's this little dish here. So let's get the vibration going to start with. And as I said, it does take a while just to build up the sound on this. quite a low vibrational tone and I will play it again at the end okay because I feel like I need to read the cards in order for this to start singing louder so we'll see so Aries what have we got coming out in the cards for you what is going on with Aries can we release some of this blocked solar plexus energy And we've got, be kind to yourself, Aries. Coming out with... Safety. But I feel like you're being guided onto the right pathway at the moment. Okay? Spirit is sort of guiding you. Don't give yourself such a hard time either. Blaming yourself maybe for things that you shouldn't. Don't let others blame you either. Let's have a look at your soul spirit position. Possibility for a union. I'm sure you had this out a couple of months ago, so this could be drawing in closer for you if you've sort of arranged to meet somebody, a social event, okay? But it's also building bridges, sky bridges, okay? Like your spirit is telling you, some of you, not all of you, that there's a connection that may have broken down, communication may have broken down, and it's saying possibility for a union here that some of you might be thinking on. So have a look what the universe wants to add on to this. And it's triggers. Know your triggers. Somebody be, could be trying to trigger you, spark a reaction, okay? 
also it means triggers on a daily day basis you know you could be pushing yourself too far that's a trigger and that brings on a headache okay so it's sort of on those kind of energies know your triggers know what people around you trigger you as well and there's also your soul spirit is saying tiny steps okay you're not going to get a result overnight on something it's sort of you've got to work at this taking tiny steps whatever is going on around you at the minute let's have a look at your animal spirit cards then what have we got for Aries and we've got the frog alchemical sign of water frog is about adaptability change I also look at this card and it always reminds me of that song by Travis why does it always rain on me okay yeah why does it always rain on me so you could be going through um, a sort of phase at the minute where you just feel you know it's always raining on your parade type of scenario but it's saying be kind to yourself okay as we came in with because you can adapt to the, any situation but to be mindful of these triggers what is triggering this working on the triggers that moved and that is um, it's a raw amethyst root this is okay but I'm looking at the amethyst because this is triggering about sleep so some of you could really be struggling with sleep at the moment amethyst is about calming so you could have to calm your energy levels down expecting too much okay too quickly let's have a look what your fairy card is fairy elements for aries and we have trespassers guarding something here you could be dealing um, literally with people unwanted where you live okay there could be somebody who's moved into the area that you're thinking you know you're not seeing eye to eye to somebody unwelcomed as well you're guarding something here though Aries guarding um, property possessions and it could be a sort of prediction to say beware of trespassers as well unwanted energies let's have a look what your guides angels and spirits want to add on to this then and it's innocence innocence purity joy you are being encouraged to just be you be a shining light for the world. Expect positive outcomes to flow from your honesty and pure intentions. Be kind to yourself. Look, I just want to get another crystal card actually. Innocence. Feel like some of you are beating yourself up at the minute because it's like things you can't do, maybe because of physical medical issues and it's like oh gosh why can't I just have the energy to do this or why is it that I'm struggling at the minute so it's just saying to you this you know this will pass um, it's just something that you're struggling with at the moment and we've got golden healer quartz and it's open the door golden healer is associated with when somebody's not too well okay and this is a tiny little piece of golden healer. It's very good for if you do feel out of sorts, okay? Very positive crystal energy. But open the door. Open the door to possibilities, okay? Open the door to knowing that you are being guided on the right track here, okay? So just be you 
trespassers I feel is prediction you need to defend or protect something okay that's what's, or it could be unwanted uh, people coming into your area who could cause issues this is though you've been feeling like a deluge everything's just <sighs> been a nightmare at the minute but you've had to adapt and you and it's saying you've got to work on these triggers you know people could be triggering you work could be triggering you uh, health could be triggering you so you've got to work with that the sky bridge was saying possibility for a union but to, to take small steps as well it could be um, mending bridges with somebody as I said you're being guided on the right path but most of all Aries be kind to yourself and stop bottling things in because this is why this uh, solar plexus chakra has had to come out let's grab the sacred heart of trees oracle book and see where we want to stop on that for you we have this one here in the silence of nature the poetry of the earth can be heard in the stillness of your heart the poetry of your divine self an unspoken word may contain a thousand prayers whilst the heart of every tree is filled with infinite joy a ray of sunshine flows through the trees the wind blows and a leaf falls to the ground and the earth smiles and there is peace and it's strange how Leo have just had this and they, they had the solar plexus and they had the same poem come out because this is where, sorry for the nudity on this artwork, but it's obviously just an oracle card, but this is where underneath the chest area here is where we store all our nervous, worrying energy. And this picture here is to say become at peace with yourself and your surroundings. So I want to say stop worrying at the minute, okay? So I hope you can take something from that reading this week, Aries. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because it could be a different chakra there. I'm going to go out with this and see if we can resonate it a little bit higher than when we came in, being as we sort of offloaded all the baggage. So let's charge the solar plexus mat and let's give it a go So yeah, it definitely worked louder that time. I am just going to try it without the mat and use my own energies. So yeah, can you see how a slow build up of that one? It's because, as I said, it's sort of mimicking how it has to get past all that bottled energy as well. So Aries, you take care of yourself till next time and keep smiling my lovelies. Bye then.